Leg swelling can be caused by various things, including lymphedema, vein issues, or other circulation issues. My name is Kelly. I'm a physical therapist that specializes in lymphedema and the lymphatic system, as well as oncology. In today's video, I'm going to show some of the best exercises to do to help decrease swelling in the legs. If you like these exercises printed out on a handout or looking for other exercises, you can find these on my website, which I'll link up above as well as down below. Before we begin, make sure you subscribe down below for weekly new videos, and you can also follow along with us on Instagram for more related content. So these are exercises that are safe to do when someone is cleared by their doctor to do them. Especially if someone had surgery or infection or even blood clots, we want to make sure that you have clearance first. For many of these exercises, being consistent with them, doing them one or two times a day over the course of multiple days or weeks is important to see some sort of change. If someone has lymphedema or a chronic condition, they may also need to do them for months or years to manage their side effects long-term. These exercises may be done any time of day, but the evening also may be a great time because swelling in the legs and the feet tends to be worse after being upright all day. There should be no pain involved with any of these exercises. If there is, we wanna discontinue them. There will be some exercises that are done laying down and there will be some done sitting and standing just to have various options. It's great to do about 10 to 15 of each of these movements, going nice and gentle, nice and slow, making sure that everything feels comfortable. So one exercise we can do for leg swelling is going to be bridges. So if we're laying on our back, we could have our knees Underneath us, our feet bent up to about hip width or shoulder width apart. We're going to do a bridge. We're gonna lift our hips off the mat. So what we wanna do is we wanna engage our core first. We don't wanna just arch into our backs. We wanna lift with our hips. So in this position, what we'll do is gently lift up a few inches and then control back down. We wanna make sure that you don't have to go as high as you can because then we tend to arch into our low backs. So rather, we wanna make sure that we keep the core engaged and just lift as far as our hips will go and then control back down and going up and down, repeating that 10 to 15 times. If someone has any issues with this or can't get very far, even lifting an inch or even less just to have that activation is gonna be helpful as well. So whatever feels good for someone and whatever is comfortable. Another exercise is leg raise. We'll have one leg down. I like to have one leg bent up. That will help support our low back for comfort so that we're not straining into our low backs. From there, what we'll do is keep this leg nice and engaged, keep our core engaged, making sure our back stays nice and flat against the surface we're laying on. Then lay, lift the leg up about a foot. You can go two or three feet and then control back down. Nice and controlled up and then coming back down. You are welcome to go up higher if you want good range of motion, but as long as you have control on the way down. The other thing you wanna make sure that is if your back starts to arch up, we wanna make sure that we re-engage our core to keep it nice and flat, and then being able to lift up and down. After you've done your 10 or 15, you can switch and do the same thing on the other side, engage the core, keep the legs straight, other one bent up and control down. 10 or 15, and then we can relax. And one more exercise we can do laying down are heel slides. And so I like to still have one leg bent up for comfort for our low backs. And then we'll just take this, it's probably easier without a shoe on, but with just a bare foot or a sock on, sliding down the surface and sliding back up, all the way down and all the way up. That'll just make sure that we get the muscles going in the thighs, make the muscles going below the knee, our calf muscles as well, to get range of motion around the knee and around the hip and even into the ankle a little bit too. So after 10 or 15, you can do the same thing on the other side, just sliding up and down the surface of whatever you're laying on, the ground or the bed, up and down, nice and gentle, nice and controlled. After you've done 10 or 15, then you can relax. Now there are other exercises that we can do in standing. So standing at a countertop or a surface that is stable, holding on for balance, standing up nice and tall, kicking out to the side, back and forth, making sure that we don't slump into our hip, holding it up nice and tall, leading more with the side of the foot and the heel rather than pointing the toe in and out 10 times. And then go ahead and switch and do the same thing on the other side, kicking in and out, working on the side muscles of the hips, 
back and forth gently. We can also do a mini squat or a small squat, standing at a countertop or a sink, something stable. If someone is comfortable doing it, we stand about hip width apart. From there, we can send our hips back, thinking like we're gonna sit down in a chair behind us, squatting down a few inches and then coming back up, coming back down and up and repeating, making sure that we don't let our knees go in front of our toes, that we're setting our hips back instead and then coming all the way up and down. If someone isn't comfortable with that, we can also just put a chair behind and going from sitting to standing up and down, working the same exact muscle groups, making sure that we're getting a lot of muscle activation to help with that circulation and that blood flow. To stimulate the ankle area, to get some blood flow in the ankle and the feet, holding on in a countertop, we can go up and down on our toes and our heels back and forth, alternating, making sure that when we go up on our heels that we're not sending our hips back, but rather just lifting our toes up and then going up on our toes, back and forth, 10 to 15 times. And then lastly, what we can do is we can do a full leg motion. So holding on for balance, marching up in front of us, kicking our knees straight out, coming all the way around to kick our heel towards our bottom and then coming back to the start. So doing a bicycle kick, coming up, kicking out, coming around and back and repeating that 10 times before you do the same thing on the other side, making sure that whatever leg we're standing on, we're holding our posture nice and tall, that we're not slumping into that, making sure we're getting activation on the other side as well. This will get nice blood flow throughout the entire leg and a nice way to finish off the routine. And so those are a few exercises for swelling in the legs. Be sure to work with a physical therapist in your area for more personalized guidance. And you can check out the other videos on my channel if you want other options or other exercises. If you'd like to see any other topics on my channel, feel free to comment that down below. Otherwise, I will see you all in the next video. Thanks everyone.